Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Reading the Red this Wednesday morning. Oh, mate, I was swimming out there today, not walking. It's pouring with rain. But Matthew 13 is something to cheer us up with. Uh, verse 51, um, Jesus says to them, having said these things, have you understood all these things? And they said to him, yes. Have you understood all these things? And the key word there is understood. It's the proactive word in the question that Jesus presents to his disciples. Then why did he ask that question? Was it because they looked as if they didn't understand? Was it because they just were vacant in their eyes that they were questioning, what are you trying to say to us, Jesus? Were they shocked because he'd said something really impactive, not only on the basis of what it meant for people who were religious and connected to God, but also to those who had no connection with God. The thought of being separated from God in eternity, was that what drew Jesus to ask them the question, have you understood? And interestingly enough, the reality of their answer is powerful too. Because when they said yes, they were making an assent, a, con a commitment to the revelation of insight that he tried to bring to them. So they were saying to him, in effect, yes, Jesus, what you have just said to us, we have got, we have understood. Now that word understand. It's the passion word behind every truth because that's the fulfillment of the purpose of imparting insight into anything. You know, a teacher stands in front of a class, a maths lesson, an English lesson, and presents something to the children and their perspective in terms of what they're hearing and what they're understanding are two different things. The reality of what part of them is understanding is another facet as it relates to them really getting it. Jesus says, have you understood what I have said? They said yes. They were in agreement with him that they'd understood. Had they really understood? And what part of them had understood? Was it a superficial mind understanding whereby they had the information that he had given to them and now they were in effect consenting because they said, OK, we understand that now. Did they understand at a level that was so deep that it would transform the reality of who they were from that point onwards in regards to how they saw life and how they valued judgment and how they valued saying no to sin or living right, not wrong? Had they understood at that level? Had something changed them inside? Had they come to a point of repentance? Did they think before Jesus said what he said differently and then think having heard it differently about what he'd said? So that now they were, if you like, converted from their perspective. Had they understood? Now, when we apply this principle to every truth that's ever presented to us in any scenario or situation, especially when it comes from the Bible or when it comes from the words or the lips of Jesus, all of a sudden we think, have we understood? Have you understood? Have you understood what it, what it means to be a Christian? Have you understood what it means to follow God? Have you understood what it means to be a disciple of our Lord Jesus Christ, to live as a representation of his kingdom of God on earth as it is in heaven? Are you in agreement with God? Brothers and sisters, Jesus said to them, have you understood? What is your answer? Have a great day.